Speaking of non-human characters and turning to Ketchy now, who I've already covered in some depth, I think the nature of a Shinra operative working clandestine against them is an interesting story device, as it shows the characters in this game can't just be split into good and bad, but you know that there's a degree of morality and questioning about them. Another example would be. Uh, Actually, on, on this note, there's a villager in Calm who exclaims how wonderful Mako Energy is and it fuels their home and supports their business and stuff. So I think that's actually you know, quite interesting because what we're seeing is in the villager in Calm who loves Mako Energy and the Shinra for, for providing it, we're seeing a conventionally good person who sees advantages in the bad. And conversely, in Ketchi, we're seeing conventionally bad people who are seeing the plight of the good and trying to act on that. So it's a realistic layer of complexity in the fact that Shinra is indeed making the lives of ordinary people easier, despite being kind of total, total, totalitarian with their rights and resources. And many of those within the business, and specifically Reeve in this game, come to acknowledge how this can be considered and is actually a bad thing. Now, Reeve as a person is only seen a few times in the game, and he's usually in a meeting or taking orders. He's not really given much exposition until later, where we see him featured in Dirge of Cerberus. But his inner turmoil at being this bureaucrat in this kind of machine, and his later desire to take action after meeting the party, do make him quite interesting. And Ketchy as a character is obviously completely bizarre, and a number of questions about its sentience and automation still linger. But I think... It's just an instance where Numura was given free reign to design whatever the hell he wanted and opted to crowbar in the traditional Moogle design into one of the game's characters, which, you know, I think is really cool. But regarding the story and contribution of this character at large, I have to come clean by saying that I don't think I've ever used Ketchy on a playthrough by choice. So in terms of dialogue options and discussing his wider contribution to gameplay, I can't really speak for it. I am, however, currently doing a playthrough with him and Yuffie as my main party whenever I have the option to use them, simply because I have never used these characters before, so hopefully it will open my eyes a bit. Um, but aside from gameplay, the twist with Ketchy is finally at the Temple of the Ancients, and how even though this is for all intents and purposes a machine being operated by Reeve, there's still a degree of significance in its sacrifice for the good of the party so that they can um, get the keys uh, sorry get the black materia and continue on their journey so this moment is a tra turning point for reeve as it compounds his regret at being a shinra spy and finally shows how he switches sides to the party it's a very conventional power of friendship sort of moment that exists in basically every final fantasy game but for this particular character at this particular time it works well and concludes his quite abbreviated, you know, story arc before he settles into the background of the main narrative.